the test that you've got to do. Um, it's lovely seeing all of you. Um, I'm sorry that we've got to do it this way because of restrictions, unfortunately. Um, and unfortunately, while we're singing, your masks have to be kept on as well, I'm afraid. Children are exempt because they're the better singers anyway. Okay? Um, and normally I would say at a service like this, it's lovely to see all your faces. But what I've got used to saying is, it's lovely to see all these different masks. <laughs> so, um, welcome, you're very welcome. Um, if you look at your service orders, um, everything that you need to either sing or say is in the bold type, okay? Everything else is usually down to me. Now, my next service is at Woolley at quarter past nine. So if I don't think that you're participating, I've asked the, the bouncers at the back of the door to do a locking. And it's not the sort of locking that you sometimes pray for. Okay? So um, just enjoy yourselves. Okay? And another thing as well, I can tell when people are just moving their mouths and not singing. I've got that down to a fine art. So please sing along as well. Otherwise, it'd be um, sing along Rev Kev. Okay. So let us just be still in the presence of God before we start our service. I'm just going to check some. Andy, have you pressed on the other and the thing as well? Excellent, thank you. Okay. So let us begin. Christ has brought us out of darkness. Are you sure? Let's start that again. Christ has brought us out of darkness. Excellent. So we now stand to sing our first carol, Silent Night. be seated. <laughs> I've got to say, I'm not one of these people who like to um, create competitions, but this 
outside were better. <laughs> it's nothing to do with the give me a tenner when they walk through the door or anything like that. So, no pressure. The next one, you've got to just ump it a little bit. Lovely. Okay. So I'm just going to read the introduction to you. Welcome to our Christingle service in which we celebrate Jesus, the light of the world, and the new life and hope he brings. This service is also a special one as we remember the work of the Children's Society. The Children's Society is a charity that works with vulnerable children and young people. Sadly, even during this Christmas season, there are children in our society who are rejected and ignored. They feel unsafe, unable to cope, and all alone. Today we have an opportunity during our Christingle service to celebrate Jesus, the light coming into the world. The infant Jesus was born in a stable. He was vulnerable and helpless. Yet a community of support grew around him. His parents, the shepherds, the wise men, and other more anonymous individuals. As we celebrate the coming of Jesus into our world and light our Christingles, we will also remember those who may be experiencing the joy of Christmas for the first time through the support that others, including the Children's Society, give them. Now, I asked for some volunteers. Could I ask my volunteers to come and join me at the front? Where's the other one? No? Who would like to be my third volunteer? Honestly, I don't buy it because I've got a, a mask on. Right, you put your hand up first next to the gentleman with the denim jacket on. Now, for some of you who may not realise, we've had to turn some people away, unfortunately. So people are watching this on um, live, uh, like Facebook Live. Um, so we're now going to tell them how to make their Christingle, because they came and collected them yesterday afternoon. So, I need my helpers. So, you're going to go first. Brave. Okay. So, if you hold it like that and go to the front. Sure. So, the first thing that we need to do is put, we used to put red ribbon. Now we've moved with the time and it's electrical tape because the electrical tape doesn't get wet or soggy, okay? So, for the people at home, what you need to do now is put your ribbon or the electrical tape I gave you round your orange without it sticking to your fingers. Thank you. Now, at the top of your orange with the red tape, you need to get a knife and we cut a cross in the top of the orange. And while we're doing that, we remember Jesus Christ who died on the cross. You can't really see it today because it's got a bit dark, but that's Jesus on the cross there. So we make a cross and then with the candle, we stick it in the oil. That's the only way I can say it. We stick it in the oil and then we stick a silver star on there for the star of Bethlehem. Well done, you've done this before, haven't you? Now that you get the best bit. <laughs> now, for those at home, if you've not eaten the sweets I gave you yesterday, you need to put the two on each cox uh, cocktail stick, and you should have four unless I miscounted. So, it should look like this. So do you want to lift it up so everyone can see? Okay. So that's how you make a Christingle. Thank you. Well done. We need a round of applause.
And yes, as a child, I did used to watch Blue Peter. Now, we're going to do something with the advent candle. Who's had some chocolate, an advent calendar? Who's had an advent calendar? Just put your hands up. Right, okay. Have some parents had them as well? Ah, that's better. Right, okay, thank you. Right, so we don't have a chocolate advent calendar, but we have this. And this is like the church's countdown to getting towards Christmas. And that one, the white one, we light later tonight at midnight mass um, to represent Jesus Christ coming into the world. So, we've counted down three and four. I now need to find a victim who's going to be the fourth one. Now, because it's working with fire, it has to be an adult that hasn't been naughty. Okay. And I, I saw one come in today and I thought, I've got my person to help. Claire, would you like to come up? You did sign the disclaimer about if your clothes get on fire, didn't you? Lovely. <laughs> You've never been naughty. Now the thing is, can you blow out your mask on? <laughs> okay, so we're now going to say a prayer. And in this prayer, you say some words as well. Remember, anything in the bold type, you say. So let us pray. Jesus light of the world shine in this place Jesus light of the world shine in our hearts Jesus light of the world shine in our lives Jesus light of the world shine in all the earth Amen and now we're going to say another prayer which we sometimes do in our services and it's a prayer of saying sorry, how we try to be better every day. So let us pray. Father God, we are sorry for the things we say and do which make you sad, and for not thinking of others before ourselves. We are sorry for times when we have seen people in need and ignored them and walked on by. Please forgive us and help us to love you and other people so we may bring light and hope to the world. Amen. Now we're going to stand and sing our next carol while shepherds watch. And don't forget this side, belt it out. Please stand. <laughs>
please be seated. I haven't made my mind up about this side, I'm afraid. Like it used to say on my school reports, must try harder. Okay. So I'm now going to um, read a section of the Bible known as Luke chapter 2, starting at verse 1. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went to the town of Nazareth in Galilee, Galilee Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. While the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken those in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart while the shepherds returned to the fields, glorifying and praising God for all who have heard and seen as it had been told before. Here ends the reading. Now, where I come from is Armley. And one of the sayings in Armley is, there's never such thing as a free meal. So I'm now going to change that around a little bit. There's no such thing as a free Chris Dingle. So I don't want you to be shy, but does anyone know when the Children's Society started? What year do you think it started in? Hands up. Oh, go on then. 1982. It was a great year because it was punk year, but no, you're wrong. Okay. Anyone else? We have 1982. It was a little bit earlier than that. I'll give you a clue. Go on then, right at the back. What do you think? Shout out because I'm old and my earrings going. 19 what? 19, oh, 2022, next year. Wow. I'll have words with them. Okay. Anyone else? I'm sorry that is wrong. Let's get an adult. Come on, adults, don't be shy. I know there's some teachers here, but you'll be all right. Okay. So come on then, an adult. Yes, go on. 1936. 1936. Uh -uh. Wrong, sorry, I'm afraid. One more on this side and I'll put you out of your misery. No, it's going to be an adult this time because I know they're so keen. Yes, Carol? 1925. 1925. Uh-uh. Wrong. So I will tell you a little bit about the Children's Society. 
The story began in 1881, even before I was born. And the person who started it, believe it or not, his name was really Edward Rudolph. I kid you not. Edward Rudolph was a young Sunday school teacher and a civil servant in the south of London. So he saw the effects of poverty on children and decided to do something about it. When two young boys failed to turn up for his Sunday school class, he went to look for them and was shocked to find them barefooted, begging in the streets. Their father had died, leaving their mother struggling to bring up seven children, all under the age of 11. Rudolph soon realised this was not a unique story at the time. There were countless young people living in poverty. At that point, he decided to dedicate his life to better the lives of young children and young people. This was the beginning of the Church of England's Children's Society. Throughout over 100 years, the charity has worked to improve the lives of children and teenagers. Through campaigning, they have changed some of the laws that empower children and teen teenagers to have better rights and understandings. However, there is always still another campaign. One of those campaigns is known as Make Runaways' Lives Safe for those who run away from home and are living on streets, for organisations to work together to improve their lives and to make them feel and be safe. The charity's long-term goal is that by 2030, they will have overturned any damaging decline in children's well-being in the previous decades. Every pound that you will give tonight will make a real difference to someone in this country, a child and a young person as well. Thank you. So, we now sing our next carol, so we stand for Away in a Manger.
Please be seated. Now I'm going to ask a couple of questions, but I know the grown-ups really want to answer some questions as well. So I'm going to start with the grown-ups. So no children, don't give them any clues. And I'm not looking at anyone in particular, Claire, Nicola or Caroline. Um, what do you think the orange represents? I want an adult to put their hand up. Go on, Caroline. The world. It represents the world. Now for the children. What do you think the red represents? Okay. That's right, the blood of Christ. That's what it represents. Lovely. So, what does this represent, anyway? Well, none of the glasses on. The star that they followed, the star of Bethlehem. That's quite right. Okay. Now, if you haven't eaten them already, what do the cocktail sticks? We've got four cocktail sticks. What do they represent? Just going to try it over here. Uh, one with the green, green on. The four seasons. Exactly right. Now, what do the fruit jellies represent then? Come on, Adam. The fruit of the world. Exactly right. You win the prize, the free Christine <laughs> And what does, if I can get it out, the candle represent? Come on, you should be all putting your hands up. What does a candle represent? Right at the back with a black and red top on. Jesus, that's right. The light of the world. Okay, well done. So that's what it represents. The world, the blood of Christ, the Star of Bethlehem, the Four Seasons, the Fruits of the Earth, and the Candle, the Light of Christ. So well done. So let us pray. God of all goodness and grace, receive the gifts we offer and grant that our whole life may give you glory and praise. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus, born in a stable, yet surrounded by love, we pray for all children, that they may be nurtured in communities of care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, cradled in a manger, kept warm and protected from harm. We pray for children and young people who feel unsafe and afraid. Help them to find places of safety. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, worshipped by shepherds and kings, we pray for the work of the Children's Society and all those who form communities of support around vulnerable children and young people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, God with us, we pray for children and young people who feel alone. Please give them someone to support and help them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we now say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now, it comes to the point 
of lighting your Christingles. Now I hope you all sign the disclaimer about if you catch on fire, but you'll be okay. We know what we're doing really. Well, I think we do. Um, we don't want any fires. We had one in 1951. We don't want any more. So what we're going to do, please remain seated and your Christingle will be lit. And then you can light your family members. But please no moving around. Okay, so if I can just ask you to be quiet, we're going to turn the lights out, but you should still be able to see, because you've got your Christingles. And if I can ask you just to lift them up slightly. Actually, we might do this every Sunday, because it'll save on the electric. So, uh, with all the prices going up at the moment. Okay, so I'm now going to say some more prayers, and if you can see, hopefully, there's some words that you need to say as well. Lord Jesus, light of the world, I hold this Christingle as a sign of your love. May your light shine in the darkness. The candle planted deep within the world as a sign that you made your home among us and lived with the poor and neglected. May your light shine in the darkness. The ribbon wrapped around the earth, a sign of your blood poured out on the cross, enfolding the whole world with your saving love. May your light shine in the darkness. The fruits and sweets, signs of all the good things you have made, given to us that we might share them fairly, so everyone can have enough. May your light shine in the darkness. Lord Jesus, light of the world, as I hold this Christingle and think about your great love for me, help me to take this light into the world and to share your love with others, especially those in need. Amen. Thank you. Now, I would advise you to blow them out because to get wax out of clothes isn't easy. Now, I want all the children's attention, so we need to be quiet. This is for all the children to listen to. Now the grown-ups have been a bit shy today and they've asked me to ask you something because they're very, very shy. Now they've said to me, they don't mind what time you get up tomorrow morning. <laughs> it could be three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock, five o'clock. 
they really don't mind. So if you wake up, don't think you're going to disturb them. Is that okay? Yeah? Now, my other thing is to the parents. Any parents who was going to phone me and personally thank me for being woken at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, my phone will be on divert. OK, so we now then stand to sing our final carol, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Continue to stand. Well, I have to say, I'm going to be very, very generous. It's not usually like me, because I'm usually the grumpy vicar. I think it's going to be a tie with the singing. So what you'll have to do is come back in 2022, and we'll have to have a repeat of this. Okay? So, have a really, really good Christmas, whatever you do. And for the parents, always remember, you can have a doze in the afternoon seeing that you've been woke up about three or four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Nothing to do with me at all. And you don't know where I live anyway. OK. So, we say together, you say the bold, I say the other words. We go in peace to share the peace of God with all we meet. We go in love to share God's gift of love with the world. We go in the light of Christ to shine as lights in the world, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. And just before we finish with a blessing, um, you're more than welcome to come to our midnight mass at quarter past 11 here. Um, it'd be nice to see some of you because I've got no friends. 
Um, or, if you want to have a bit of an earlier one, you, you're more than welcome to come to St Peter's Woolley, where I'll be doing that service at quarter past nine. So, we'll just finish with a blessing. And the blessing of God our Father, and the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you and those whom you love at this Christmas tide. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed Christmas. <laughs>